Hey YouTube, how's it going? Josh here coming at you with an updated Dark Magician deck profile. So, um, my first version of this was actually pretty popular. Um, I kind of posted it right after the Dark Illusion set came out. But um, now we have the new Dragons of Legend Unleashed cards. And I kind of changed the build up um, to like the fusion build. Uh, with some of the new cards from the Dragons of Legends Unleashed set. So, without any further ado, let's just jump into this. So, of course, we do have our three Dark Magicians. That's not going to change. It's a Dark Magician deck. Have to play three. And our three Magician of Dark Illusion. Same thing. He's basically your second Dark Magician, so... Six Dark Magicians in the deck. Always awesome. And three Rod as well. Basically, any type of Dark Magician deck you're building, you're going to want to play three of each. Um, I've seen some people play two. Totally up to you. I really enjoy three, though. And then this is new. I was playing two Dark Magician of Chaos, but I actually switched out for two... Uh, Oracle Mahad. Um, I was playing one Demac and one Mahad. I recently switched it to two. Um, this card right now is a lot more beneficial than Dark Magician of Chaos. Basically, if you draw him, you can reveal it and special summon him from your hand. He's If he battles a dark monster, its attack is doubled, which is crazy. And then if it's destroyed, you can special summon a Dark Magician from anywhere. Hand, deck, or graveyard. So he just lets you... He can even let you go into a rank 7. He's a level 7 himself, so he's a um, sort of 7 stars target. He is just really good. So, took out the two Dark Magicians of Chaos for him, and it's working out great. I'm also playing now two Chocolate Magician Girl. She is such a great card too. Um, with a couple other cards and her, she even allows for rank fours, which I wasn't able to do in my previous build. But basically, she lets you special summon um, a Dark Magician or any spellcaster type from your graveyard. Uh, if your opponent attacks... It's switched to that monster, and the attacking monster monster's attack becomes half. So she's just really cool. Plus, I love the art, but that's besides the point. She's great in this deck. I'm also playing One Robe. Still rocking the One Robe. Um, not much to say about it, but I like playing it. Some people don't, but... Then here we go into our part of our fusion uh, tech. We have Summoner Monk. This card is great. Um, two of him. He works really good. Um, you can discard a spell card. Special Summon 1 level 4 monster. It cannot attack this turn. You mostly are going to take Summoner Monk and summon one Prisma. I'm only playing one. Um, I've thought about two, but you only really need one. Because there's right now particularly one monster that you're going to use him to fusion, which we'll get to. Um, I have two fusions in the deck, but right now... There's only really one target. Um, and then I'm also playing for hand traps to Maxi. Uh, with the new list, Maxi went down to two, but I was playing two anyway, so works out. That's it for the monsters. For the spells we have, of course, our Dark Magical Circle. This card is just too good. It works with Summoner Monk, 
It is just, this is like the best spell card in the deck. Also playing two Dark Magic Veil. I bumped this up to two. Um, it's just great to be able to special summon a Dark Spellcaster. Um, you pay a thousand, which is fine. Especially if it can set you up to like win the game or overlay. It's just really, really, really good. And then this is new as well. Eye of Tamias. For obvious reason, reasons, but yeah, I'm playing two Eye of Tamias and two MST. Um, yes, Twin Twisters is good. It's really good. But for right now, I'm just playing two MST. And then for our draw, we have the two Allures and the Sacred Sword because draw power. And then the last spell card is one Illusion Magic. Um, I don't remember in my last video if I had two of these. I was playing two. Um, I started out with one and then had two and now I'm back to one. Just because I had to make room for a couple new cards in this deck. So this is still really good though. You can tribute a... Spellcaster, add up to two copies of Dark Magician from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And then for the traps, we have, of course, our three Magician Navigation. I love this card. Um, this card is just too good not to play three of. Basically, what happens is you can special summon a Dark Magician from your hand, and then a level seven or lower dark spellcaster type from your deck um, if you control a dark magician uh, when this card's in your graveyard you can banish it and target one face-up spell or trap card that your opponent has and uh, its effects are negated then also three call of the ha haunted since you do do some discarding and stuff like that it's just great to bring back your spellcasters or any other card you need and go from there. And then the last two spells are Warning and an Emptiness. Emptiness can hurt you, but with the right setup, you can do all of your summoning, whatever you're gonna do, flip this bad boy up, and it's just GG. So that's the main deck. We'll get on to the extra deck. So extra deck, we have Dark Paladin. This is basically, just like in the anime, this card is great against Blue Eyes, all the Blue Eyes decks that are running around. Um, he gains 500 attack for each um, dragon type on the field or in either player's graveyard. And then another new addition... Amulet Dragon. This card's also really, really, really good. Um, for the most part, though, since Blue Eyes is so popular, I've been going into Dark Paladin a lot more, but you can make Amulet Dragon. Um, so with Amulet Dragon, he um, can be made with Aya Um He lets you target any a number of spell cards in any graveyards and banish them. And if you do, this card gains 100 attack for each banished card. So, the on top of that though, if Amulet Dragon's destroyed, you can target a spell t spellcaster type in your graveyard and summon it. So, he can get an attack boost if there's cards that you are willing to banish. But uh, for the most part, I've been making Dark Paladin just because Blue Eyes is so popular right now. Uh, the rest of the deck hasn't really changed. We have our two even high magicians and even um, illusion magicians. And then for our standard rank sevens, we have Red Eyes, uh, number 11. 
Uh, I was able to add a couple level fours, so we have a rank four, so we have Castell and Cowboy. We also still have our Downard Magician, our Dante, uh, our Nightmare Shark, um, Mech Beast, Grand Pulse, and our Granosaurus. We do play the three rod and stuff, so it lets us, uh, or robe, sorry. No, our rods, so we can potentially make some rank threes here, which happens occasionally, not a lot, but they're there for er, for when I need them. But yeah, guys, this is kind of like the fusion Dark Magician build. Um, it's, it's really good. It's different than kind of like the standard one that was uh, my first version of this. So... I'm, I've been testing both out, making a few tweaks to both, but so far this fusion build is really, really, really fun. Um, I really am liking the change from Mahad from Dark Magician, or yeah, Dark Magician of Chaos. So if you haven't already test out Mahad, a lot of you were commenting, what do you think of Mahad? What do you think of Mahad? And um, I actually didn't. I wasn't a fan at first. I read it over and I don't know. I just couldn't find room at first and wasn't sure what to do. But after making a couple changes and testing it out, you guys were right because I got a ton of other messages saying how awesome it is. And yeah, so thanks for that. But um, anyways, guys, stay tuned for some, a couple more deck profiles in the next week or two and openings as well. So once again, thanks for watching this video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. Until next time, guys, peace.